Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review series. So we are ending the whole Elemental Hero Mass Zero Marathon with a card that is OCG exclusive for now. We might be getting it, but uh, this is just a hero that you probably won't be seeing here in the TCG for a cool minute. This is Elemental Hero Core. Yes, nice and powerful. You know, he's the center of it all. So he is a Earth Warrior Fusion Effect, level 9, 2700 attack, 2200 defense. And he's a fusion between three elemental heroes. I think there was another fusion that was a fusion between uh, three heroes. I think it was just three heroes. I don't think it was elemental heroes. can't remember his name, though. He, I think he's like that 5,000 beater that can attack t three times or something if he attacks monsters. Yeah, but this guy is a fusion between elemental heroes. And, of course, he's an elemental hero. So you can go ahead and miracle fusion into him if you cho so choose to. Let's go ahead and go over his effect. So, it must be fusion summon. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. Okay, it's kind of a given. First effect. Once per turn, when this card is targeted for an attack, you can double this card's attack and turn the end of the damage tap. That's kind of stupid. He's a 27 beater. Why would I go after a 27 beater? And even if I was going to go after a 27 beater, after reading this effect, it's clearly you're not going to be attacking over his ass, because he's going to double the attack to, what, 5400? Yeah, so that effect is kind of redundant. He's already 27 beater. If you didn't want him to be attacked over, you could have just made him 3000. I mean, no one really cares. The effect is kind of unnecessary, to tell you the truth. Yeah, the effect is kind of, like, redundant. He's already strong, so don't attack over him, because he's already strong. You know, what are you afraid of? Beals? Are you afraid of Beals coming after you? And I was like, I attack with my Beals. I use my effect to double my attack. Now I'm 54, and then you take uh, the 24. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, well, shit. Beals is now 5,400. Yeah, I didn't think that one out. <laughs> and then Beals is going to come to you next turn, and then he's going to kill you. Despite you using an effect or not, because then you'll both come and cause you, but he can't be destroyed by battle. So, so pretty much, that effect is kind of redundant. Yeah. Ah, uh, next effect. At the end of the battle phase, this card was attacked or attacked. If this card attacked or was attacked, you could target one monster on the field, destroy that target. Okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming that this is for when you attack. Because your opponent's not going to attack you. We, we already established that. Alright, so, when you attack one of your opponent's monsters, you can go ahead and target another one of their monsters and destroy it. Oh no, it was a fire hand! Ah, ah. <laughs> but, uh, that effect's okay. So far, I'm not really impressed with this card. Alright, and last effect. When this card is destroyed, either by battle or by card effect, you could target one level 8 or lower elemental hero fusion monster in your graveyard, such as summon that target, and organic summoning conditions. Okay. So, this card, for its last effect, which is arguably its best effect, takes a little bit of setup. So, you clearly already have to have a Elemental Hero Fusion in the graveyard, so it's not like you can kind of just, oh, I got three in the graveyard, Miracle Fusion into this guy, and there's no point, you know. You, to get the actual brownie, tasty effect, you need the Fusion in the graveyard previously. So, this is more of a mid-late game kind of card, you know, this isn't something that you whip out first turn, definitely not. Uh... You special summon a level 8 or lower Elemental Hero Fusion monster, and level 8... So, can't summon himself, because he's level 9. You know, they kind of thought about that. You can't summon my nigga Contrast Hero Chaos. Uh, but you can summon Absolute Zero back. Shining. I don't know. There's no other reason that he would really run. <laughs> so, I guess, you know. You kill this guy, I summon back Absolute Zero. I ignore summoning conditions, and it's a level 8. There's really no other element of Hero Fusion that you should be running. So, well, overall, what I think about this card, it's redundant, stupid, takes setup, and it's really unnecessary. It's really not the best. You know what? I'm, I'm fine with uh, us not getting this element of Hero in TCG because, you know what? I don't got that room and extra deck to run this guy anyway, and he's really not worth it. I'd rather run the one guy that's a, that's a fusion between three heroes that... It's a 5,000 beater that can attack three times if I attack a monster. I think that's what he does. I can't remember his damn name. Hold on. Before, before I completely get this wrong and look like an idiot, let me go ahead and search this guy up. 
Let me go ahead and search this guy up. Uh, hero. Okay, well, I got three pages, so maybe I should go to monster and hero in the description. Oh, that didn't help. So let me, let me see. I know he's a fusion. I'm, I'm, I'm eliminated in down, guys. I'm, I'm on the end. Uh, where is he? Where is he? He's red. I know the color he is. He is red. Uh, there he is. There he is. He's the last one. Uh, Vision Hero Trinity 3 Hero Monsters. Oh, he's only 2,500 and 2,000 fence. During the turn, discard with Fusion Summon. Its attack doubles to double its original attack. Alright, that's where I got the 5,000 from. Uh, this Fusion Monster can attack three times each battle phase. Oh, but your opponent, it cannot attack your opponent directly. There you go. I'd rather go into him. When he's turning something, he's a 5,000 beater that can slap the shit out of three of your opponent's monsters. That's better than this guy. So, if I was going to Miracle Fusion, well, I can't Miracle Fusion to this guy because it's not Elements of Hero. So, I guess, but the point is, is that, why? <laughs> you know, he's just not really worth it. Is there any other level 8s? Nope, can't summon Rainbow Neos. You can summon... Does it say uh, it says elementary heroes? I can't do that. 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 I'm trying to get all the heroes that you can summon. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can summon the elemental hero Wild Edge if he's in your graveyard. Yeah. If and somehow if and when you get, to, you know, if it was like summoned from the extra deck, then you could pull out something fancy. But it has to be in your graveyard. So that means that something has to happen. That card had got killed. Got somebody got killed or something. Unless you're sending some card from your extra deck to the graveyard, which I don't think there's anything like that. Unless someone attacked you with that one monster that everybody was hyping up, where you get to you know get rid of monsters in your extra deck. Uh, you can summon Wild Wingman. Summon Thunder Giant, Shining, uh, Terra Firma. You can summon Tempest if you want to, if he's in the graveyard. Like I'm saying, these are all shit in the graveyard. You can't summon uh, Storm Neos, he's too high level. Uh, you can summon Steam Heater. You can summon Shining Phoenix Enforcer. You can summon Shining Flare Wingman. You can summon Rampart Blaster. You can summon... Plasma Vice, uh, Phoenix Enforcer, Nova Master, Neo Knight, Necro Shaman, Necro Shaman, uh, Mudball Man, Mariner. Uh, can you summon Mariner? Neo says you can. He is he is level eight. Yes, you can. Uh, you can't summon Magna, Magna Neos. You can summon Inferno. Great Tornado, Grand Neos, Glow Neos, Gaia, Flare Neos, Flame Wingman, Esquilado, Can't Summon Electrum, Can't Summon Divine Neos, Dark Bright, Dark Neos, Can't Summon Itself, Can't Summon Chaos Neos, Aqua Neos, Air Neos, Absolute Zero, can't summon in Dragoon, and you can't summon Conscious Hero. So, really, your choices are very limited, and it, I'd say the best one you can summon is Absolute Zero. And the most likely one you'll summon is Absolute Zero. Everybody else, if, I mean, that's the deck you're running, and you fused into him, and then that card got killed, and then you Miracle Fused into this guy, then this guy gets killed, you can always bring that card back, but really, none of them are really worth it, besides Absolute Zero. Everybody else is kind of, <laughs> So... Tell me what you guys think about this card. Like I said, it's not really impressive. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And uh, be sure to tune in on Thursday for the card review. Going to be revisiting a particular card. You don't want to miss it. So, yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. See you guys on Thursday. Thanks for watching.